Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Today I am going to explain about the HTML with cascading styles. So the cascading styles is one of the important, uh, uh, it is just styling representation of your uh, pages. If you want to represent the web pages in a stylish format, you can use the cascading styles. So how this cascading styles is in integrated with the HTML, how we can uh, use the external cascading style uh, pages and uh, the code that you can write internal HTML means in the HTML scripts. Now let us see the cascading styles. So now in this video I want to explain you HTML with inline cascading styles and HTML with internal cascading styles. So a difference will be there for inline as well as the internal. So for, first let me explain about inline. So just use a document type HTML. So actually the cascading style sheets is nothing but CSS we call it as is a cascading style sheet CSS. So the style tags can be used if you if you are using the style tag that should be used in the heading head tag in between the head tag so not in the body tag if you are using just an attribute as a style that you can go uh, right in the body tag now i am going to explain the inline cascading style sheet means you are going to use the style tag inside the body okay so html open the body tag so inside the body tag I am using the style 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 so the style is uh, just use the color uh, let me take the color was blue blue ok close that means inside the h1 tag you read you need to write the style uh, and the message that has to be appeared in style this is a blue heading ok and close the h1 tag ok and co close the body tag as well as html tag means the text has appeared in blue color this was uh, which the file name was let us take inline CSS cascading style save so run the program oh I saved the program in text format so do not forget to save the file in dot html otherwise the complete text will be appeared on the browser launch in internet Explorer. so see here this is a blue heading suppose if you are using here uh, like hello mm, let me take hello save just refresh the page this is blue heading let us take red color red save refresh sorry this is uh, here you need to write the uh, sentence whatever you are written in between the heading tag that color wa will be changing ok. So this is inline cascading style sheet. So let me explain you uh, the another cascading st uh, style sheet that is the internal cascading style sheet. So what is this internal cascading style sheet? So the team HTML. Just I'm let me take the new file. Doc type HTML. So now I'm going to explain you uh, about the internal cas the html with internal cascading style sheets so first html now write here head tag 
so in internal cascading style sheet means uh, here you need to write the style tag in between the head tag not in the body head just use the style tag the style tag is also having the open tag as well as the close tag so just write body so here in the body you need to write the background background color uh, so that background color let us take blue okay so the body is over now let's take the h1 tag h1 let's take uh, color the h1 the color should be let us take the green the sentence whatever uh, the heading that heading should be appeared in green now let's take the p paragraph tag for paragraph the color was let's take red color okay uh, so this is not a body uh, here it is everything whatever you are written that is in style tag so close the style tag as well as close the head tag style tag was closed and the head tag was closed now open the body tag so whatever you have written there that is a h1 and p uh, heading tag the statements that is appeared in between the h1 tag that statement should appear in green color and where is a statement that is present in between the paragraph tag that should appear in red color okay now write the h1 tag h1 this is uh, heading close the h1 tag okay and now write the paragraph p this is a paragraph paragraph close the p tag so close the body tag as well as close the html tag so the main difference here in the inline css and the internal c is inline css means in the heading tag itself you are writing the style tag whereas internal cascading style sheet means in the style tags you are writing the colors of the text and that will be used in body tag so in the body tag you are just writing h1 and the p tag that's it you are just calling the h1 and p the h1 and p whatever you are writing and that statement should be appeared in colors that is written in the style tag so this is internal cascading style sheet save the program okay inline and internal cascading style sheets sorry this is only internal cascading style sheet save let's run the program again i saved in dot txt format dot html save now run the program see here the background color i have given green so that's why it's not uh, showing let's take yellow so that it becomes light see here the body background means the complete body the page should appear in yellow so that's why i have written body in the bo the body should be yellow color body color background color should be yellow and the h1 whatever the h1 message this is heading that message has to be appeared in green color and whereas a p this is a paragraph this message has appeared uh, has to appear in red color okay so this is how you are going to use the cascading style sheets thank you